Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a video for you, Virgo. We're going to be finding out what's going on in your person's um, energy this week. We're going to flip the script. Normally we are focused on you, Virgo, but today we're going to get into your person's energy. If you are here and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take just a second and give me a thumbs up. Let's get into it, guys. Happy Friday Eve if you're catching this video on Thursday. But when you find this message, that's when you were meant to hear the message. So welcome. All right, let's get the current energy between you and your person, Virgo. See what's going on. What's the current energy between Virgo and their person spirit? You guys don't laugh at me shuffling. These cards are humongous. <laughs> they are humongous. It's not that they're long, they're wide, guys. Look how wide they are compared to this one. So don't be judging me. <laughs> she can't shuffle. It's okay. We're going to get these messages one way or the other. <laughs> All right, let's get the current energy between Virgo and your What's going on? What messages do you need to hear? Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. Even though that's your energy, you could also be dealing with another um, Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus. Okay. The moon just wanted to come out, guys. The moon, that's Pisces energy. There may be some things hidden from you, Virgo, but... Let's get into it. What is the current energy between Virgo and the person? Okay, we'll take it. So a lot of cards wanted to come out. Okay, guys, on the, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So someone is sitting in their emotions. This could also indicate infidelity, um, but there's something that happened in a relationship that uh, really affected your emotions and you changed your mind. You might be having a change of heart here. You may have lost love for this person. We're starting off in your past energy, guys, with the seven of pentacles, you know, investing, investing in the connection. Um, at the end of it all, guys, we have the devil card. So there could be a breakup here, but we're going to keep going. We have the page of wands. So that's, you know, enthusiastic energy. Someone's being passionate here, wanting to come in. Um, pages bring messages. So this could be your person's energy, wanting to come in and work on things here, work to make things a success. I have the six of wands coming out in the reverse. I feel like whatever has been going on in the connection hasn't been working out. I have a knight of pentacles coming out. This could be your energy, Virgo. It is earth energy. The knight of pentacles is the most reliable knight in the deck. If you want something done, then ask the knight of pentacles. So I feel like Virgo, I'm getting the energy. No one's perfect, but I feel like you did your part in, um, in the connection. I think that you did your part. You came into the connection wanting to move things forward, um, having a positive mindset and, you know, wanting to see things come to completion to um, finish what you started here. But for whatever reason, guys, I have temperance here in the reverse and the devil. Anytime these two cards come out together, that's not a good thing. That could be a lot of nasty things going on in the connection. You know, when temperance is in the reverse, that means things are out of order. Then with the devil being here, that could indicate that you guys are doing things from a very deep, dark place. You know, you could be doing things out of spite, in revenge. Um, and this could also indicate that this is a codependent relationship. All right, let's go in and see what's going on. Very briefly, I'd like to go in and clarify why temperance is here and why the devil is here. 
And we might get a few cards for this Six of Wands in reverse. I'm going to clarify with this deck. Okay. So for Virgo, why is this Six of Wands here in reverse? We do have Scorpio energy here, guys. Capricorn. Libra. Aquarius. Taurus. And Scorpio. Sagittarius is here. Leo. And we have Aries. Why is the Six of Wands here in reverse for Virgo? And that person's kind of energy. Why is the Six of Wands here? Show me what I need to see. Why is the Six of Wands here in reverse? Okay, I have the Three of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. We have an Empress in reverse, the Page of Pentacles, the Page, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay, guys, that's a defensive energy, the Seven of Wands in reverse. That's, you know, we've been through a whole lot in this relationship. We've been trying to come to an agreement on certain things. We've been trying to stabilize our commitment. We have been putting in work on this, and I've been waiting to see if things are going to get better. And I don't feel like things um, were better. I feel like your person came in and they made promises that they weren't able to keep. And I think that you guys were able to see through that. There's judgment here with the chariot in reverse. Tell me about temperance in reverse. Why is that here for Virgo? Why is temperance in the reverse for Virgo? We have the seven of pentacles, guys. I've evaluated this relationship. I've evaluated, you know, how you've shown up in this relationship. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with what, you know, where we are. I'm stable. You know, you have the King of Pentacles here. That's your energy, Virgo. I've been here. I've been putting in the work. And you have me stressed the hell out. I'm losing sleep. I'm stressed. And then because I'm not sleeping, I can't think clearly. But there's heartbreak here. But it's coming out in a reverse. So for some of you, I think that, you know, you've been in this place for a while and you're ready to come out of that energy. Either you're tired of accepting whatever it is that this person is dishing out or you guys may have separated and there's been a little while, you know, a little time has passed since the separation. And, you know, you're you're at a point now where you can say, you know what, let's just forgive each other and move on here. And I'm going to go focus on getting my bag. I'm going to go focus on my own wealth, my own stability, my own future. And for some of you, you may be even um, entertaining new people, going out, partying with friends. There's celebration here. Even though things are bad in this connection, you know, this could also be avoidance. This could be avoidance. Yep, there's the Eight of Swords. For some of you, you are partying and trying to act as if you are over this person, but you know, um, you're really not. For some of you, you are holding out hope here. Some of you are holding out hope. I have death in the reverse and the fool. That's like a back and forth energy. That's like, I feel like I have unfinished business here, but you know, I might be ready to take a risk here. I just might be ready. With the devil coming here, that tells me why the devil is here. It's here because you haven't been able to fully, fully detach. And I don't mean that you haven't broken things off. I mean you haven't been able to let go of this person's energy, Virgo. Tell me why the devil is here for Virgo and their person. We have the Queen of Wands here, guys. That can indicate the other person. 
if there was an, a third party interference here with this three of wands if you know this was a case of infidelity this could be the other person or this could be your person's energy we'll see so you have the two of wands that's juggling trying to make a decision this level here We have the Page of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Someone could have been reckless, taking actions, acting like a kid, acting immature, making bad decisions. And someone may have gotten ghosted here. You know, you didn't show up in this relationship. I feel rejected. I feel breadcrumbed. I have strength here in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. Things didn't work out. There was a tower. And temperance is here. I'm trying to get my happiness back. With the Three of Cups coming out, guys, with that Queen of Wands, I do feel like this was a, a case of infidelity for some of you. And for some of you, with that Three of Cups coming out, that also indicates a reconciliation. And then you have the Three of Wands. You could possibly be waiting on reconciliation here, Virgo. That's the current energy between you and your person. I may have spent a little bit too much time on that, so I'll try to speed up, guys, so I don't make the video too long. Okay, so we're going to go in and we're going to get your person's energy. We're going to see um, what's going on with them. We're going to go in with the tea cards. Some of this information you may know. Some of it you may not. Some of it you may be aware of. Some of it you may not. Give me Virgo's person's energy. The person that Virgo is communicating with or interacting with or involved with. What's going on with them currently? The person that Virgo is thinking about. What's going on? There goes a person. I see travel and lost chance. For some of you, this person could live at a distance. This person could be wanting to come in and see you. <clears throat> but they may have lost their chance with you or felt feel like they have lost their chance. I'm seeing ain't shit. This person may not be worth your time or your energy. I have bad habits with the devil card coming out. Some of you are dealing with someone who has um, some issues with habits. You know, this could be substance abuse, alcohol, um, anything can be your devil, guys. It could be working too hard. It could be staying in a relationship that you know doesn't serve you. I have an offer showing up here not sure what that offer is but let's see what comes out virgo what's going on with the person this week what's in their energy first card out is fake flexing so your person is out here floss flossing huh acting like they have more than what they have showing off they could be pretending with you <laughs> Virgo, they could be pretending, but you know the truth. I have fake accounts, inside scoop coming out. That could be them. Um, the person want to know what you got going on, Virgo. They could be watching you from a fake account if you're on social media in some way. I feel like they're spying on you, and I feel like you are a queen rising, guys. I think this is you and their energy. This is definitely you and their energy. You are focused on yourself. You're stepping into your power. You're being praised. Maybe you're being recognized for something that you've been working on. You may be a, a celebrity of sorts. You know, I feel like you are in the spotlight in some way. And this person is spying on you. Heavy spy energy. That's what they're doing this week. They're watching your ass, Virgo. I have chasing. Chasing. They're chasing you, Virgo, this week. Worrying about what you have going on. We have looking you up. Damn, I've never had so many spy cards in one reading, guys. This person is so fixated on you. That's almost, that's why the devil is here. This person is obsessed with you and it's not healthy. And they feel rejected on the bottom of the deck. Let's get one more message. What's going on with Virgo's person this week? Dirty offer. 
This could indicate that they are trying to call you and hook up for sex, or they could be hooking up with other people for sex. On the bottom of the deck, I have happiness hater. They could be watching you rise, Virgo, and they don't like it. They don't like the fact that, you know, you out here winning and maybe they're not. They don't like the fact that you're not together. Okay, let's go in and get some tarot and see what's going on this week for your person, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo's person for this week? First card wanted to come out was the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles is, uh, you know, holding on very tightly to something unnecessarily, not being able to let go of it. But the energy of the Four of Pentacles is I'm trying. person this week i have the king and the queen of pentacles there guys the king and the queen of pentacles i'm looking at a tower moment here in the world something happened as a shock a transformation it brought change and it may have caused you guys to have to start a new cycle I just saw the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Wands. Again, Tor um, Virgo, I'm sorry. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus since I was about to say Taurus. Virgo, I feel like you guys are focused on yourself. You know, you've taken back your energy from this person. And I think that ever since that's been happening, I think great things have been happening for you. I think great things have been happening for you ever since you let this person go. All right. What's going on in Virgo's person energy? The two of Pentacles. They could be making a decision. They could be juggling people. This could be, you know, why this dirty offer came out. What's going on with Virgo's person for this week? Show me what I need to see. Thank you. All right, guys, we have the Ten of Swords. The Four of Wands in reverse. The, the Tower. The Two of Cups. and the fool on the bottom of the deck i have the four swords so this is the period of um where after heartbreak guys this is where we are kind of unable to move on you know we're not ready to move on we're sad we're depressed we may be doing things to indulge <laughs> in order to make ourselves feel better where you're eating ice cream you know eating your favorite snacks not really getting a lot accomplished. Your person is kind of in that energy this week, Virgo. All right, so we have the Two of Pentacles. So your person is um, could be juggling other people at this time, or they could be trying to make a decision about something this week. Um, whatever it is, is stressing them out, guys. You have the Ten of Swords here. This can also represent an ending, especially with the Four of Wands and the Tower being here. This shows a commitment that has come to an end and, and you know, it was transformational. It changed the course of your home life. For some of you, you may have lived together and you're not living together anymore. But this person is, um, they're stuck in an energy, guys, right now of depression and sadness with this four of swords being on the bottom of the deck. Virgo, they love you. This could be a soulmate energy for some of you and they want this connection. And you have the fool. I will go in and clarify. I do get the energy that this fool energy is with you, Virgo. I don't think this is, I wanna go and start something new. All right, let's go in and clarify. Why is the two of pentacles here? I'm not going to take it, but I got the fool in reverse, which could indicate that they were acting a fool or, you know, being out here reckless and cheating. And I have judgment, making a bad decision, making a bad judgment, making wrong choices. 
So they are sitting in, in, in karma right now, guys. They are, they are understanding this week that they, they made some bad decisions that brought about this ending. They did not bring their commitment to the relationship in the way that they needed to. Why is the two? Mm, these cards want to come out, guys. The wheel. They want another shot. They want another shot. I, again, I don't think your person's getting a lot accomplished during this time. I have the seven of pentacles wanting to come out. Why is the two of pentacles here? And we have the high priestess. And we have the hangman on the bottom of the deck. I think that you are the high priestess, Virgo. I believe you cut this person off. But this person wants to come in and invest. They definitely want to come in and invest, but you're done. There's your energy, Virgo, queen of pentacles in reverse. I'm not committing to you. There's some trust issues here. I have the seven of swords. Some of you may feel deceived or betrayed in some way. This person may have tried to get away with something. Why is the ten of swords here? The Hierophant guys in reverse, the ending of this relationship, they're focused on that. They haven't found clarity. They're not clear. They're still thinking about it with this Queen of Swords in reverse. This also indicates that they've been cut off. Chariot in reverse. They're not able to move forward. They feel out of control. They feel like their life is out of control here. They're not happy. Nine of Cups, guys. Your person is sitting in great sadness this week. They're stuck. I have the magician on the bottom of the deck. They are manifesting you though, Virgo. Tell me about this tower. Okay, guys, this fell on my arm. You can't see it, but this is how it fell. I have the nine of wands. That's burden, stress. Wanting to release a burden, having, you know, someone set boundaries with me. I've been through a lot with this person. I have the tower here, guys, again. This person definitely, they didn't want this to happen. They fought it. I have a tower in the upright and a tower in the reverse. For some of you, your person could be reaching out to you this week. I have the eight of pentacles. They may want to talk to you about why they're not happy. As if you, you may not care, Virgo. You might care. I don't know. But <laughs> I feel like they want to tell you everything that they've been going through I have the Ten of Wands. They may, you know, have a lot of things going on in other areas outside of this relationship. And I feel like for some of you, they're going to text you and they're going to want to tell you what's going on with them. They're going to want to tell you, hey, I haven't been able to move on from you. I've been stuck. I've been stuck with this Four of Swords coming out, guys. They may be ready to um, apologize. They may be, um, they've been thinking a lot about how they ended up where they are. I feel like that's what they're working on guys. They're actually guys there. This person is in deep introspection. Okay. This person could be going through a dark night of the soul. I think this person is not connected spiritually. They're not connecting with God. They're kind of, this is kind of a depressed and hopeless energy, guys. And I have the five of cups in reverse. All right, let's go in and find out about the two of cups and the fool. Why is this here for this person, for this week, for this person? Why is the two of cups and the fool? Have the chariot in reverse, guys, and the queen of swords. Spirit said, I already told you, they got cut off. <laughs> They've lost control of their life here. A decision was made and they were cut off here. They want this connection, but I feel like you don't. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Hmm. And I have the nine of coins on the bottom of the deck. Virgo said, I'm, I'm about my money. We all know that's your energy, Virgo. You're about, you know, your stability. You worried about your future. You don't have time to worry about this person. You know, you gave them a shot here. Have the lovers. That's Gemini energy. And Virgo, this is your energy. And we have the ten of cups here, but it's in the reverse. You say, I'm going to focus on myself. I try to, you know... 
have a relationship with you, a successful relationship, but I have to go on and I have to close off my energy to you and I have to put my focus on myself and what I want with this magician. But that's, that's what's going on with your person. They're depressed. They're depressed. They are depressed, guys. They are stuck. They have the Six of Cups in reverse. That could be the energy of the relationship. You know, you guys have good memories there in the past. Some of you may have known this person um, from childhood. This person is very sad, guys. There's the Five of Cups again and the Five of Swords in reverse. Fives talk about conflict and change. And I see arguments and sadness here. And I see, you know, someone not taking accountability for what they've done here. And I think you guys, again, you, you guys aren't willing to move forward in this connection. I feel like some truth came out. Some truth came out. I have the moon here, guys. We have Pisces and we have um, Taurus. I feel like... <laughs> Some truth came out, you guys, and Nine of Pentacles is back. And you guys said, I, I'm, I'm gone. But this person is not done with you. They are spying on you very heavy, Virgo. Very heavy. Usually I'm not alarmed when, whenever I get the spy cards. Because, you know, a lot of people check up on their person um, after a relationship until they can get them out of their system. But this person, <laughs> one, two, three, they have four spy cards. <laughs> <laughs> they are spending a lot of time watching you, Virgo. All right, Virgo, that's been your read. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. And if you are still here and you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, guys, I'll catch you on your next read.